internet friends. Welcome to another episode of the Synergy Cafe online show featuring speaker, entertainer, close-up illusionist, and marketing alchemist, Magic Brad. It's the internet lifestyle show about career, finance, relationships, spirituality, and wellness. We're moving the online chatter over to real life activity. And now, please welcome your host of Synergy Cafe, Magic Brad. Hey, Internet friends, Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe. Please turn up your sound. <laughs> I've got a new guest online today. She's over from the southern part of the, the United States, actually the northern part of California, which is probably almost the same as Minnesota, but it doesn't snow over there. And is she there? I'm here. Jill, right? It's Jill. Hi. How do you say your last name? It's Lublin. Lublin. Two, Two syllables. Yay. And you got your book. What, what's your book? That's cool, because um, that's kind of what this, my approach is. It's moving the online chatter back into real life activity, because you know with all this election stuff and stuff, there's not been much kindness going on, but it's about time we come back together and be humans again. I agree. Anyways, I... let's learn a little about you before we get into what you do, but are you, you live in Northern California and married, you got kids, you're single, what's the deal I have, there? I have four cats. You know, some people have uh, children. I have cats and books. <laughs> Okay. Um, so, so, yeah, what I, what I do is, is really about um, spreading kindness in the world and helping people get more out there. And I just, uh, I love nature. I love hanging out in the beautiful Northern California. Uh, particularly the ocean is great, except I can't swim in it. But other than that, I love it. <laughs> so how long have you been uh, writing books? How long have you been, is that specifically your main thing is you're an author? Well, actually, I'm, I'm mostly a consultant and I help people with publicity. I also help people get foreign rights deals and get book deals because I have four of them and I understand how to do it. Um, but I've been helping people with publicity for over 24 years and I teach a publicity crash course and I do a lot of consulting. And now with Profit of Kindness, I'm speaking in corporate and helping corporate teams get more kind. Isn't that a concept? Yeah. I can see how that can kind of interweave too because the, the people that are publicists that I know, they're people people. And they're out to going to lunch, having fun, being friendly and kind to people. Because, uh, you know, if you're ornery and stuff, nobody's going to want you to be their PR agent, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, well, and, you know, what I know, it's interesting because when I actually owned a PR agency, many of the reporters said to me, Jill, the reason we have your clients is because you're nice. You know, because some PR people are a little too pushy or a little too something. And, uh, and yeah, PR people tend to be more connectors, people-oriented. And for me, it's just been a real blessing because I consider myself a messenger of messengers. And okay. it's been a lot of fun to help people with their messages. And then, of course, doing my own books and getting out there, I understand the importance of it. And I walk both sides of the line, which is helpful, I think, to all my clients because I'm able to understand all sides of the story. It, it is. Um, I get uh, ridiculed sometimes for not staying focused, but I'm on both sides. I started doing magic when I was a little kid, and then I got into planning the events, so I know it from the performer end and from the planner end. And So it's good to be on both sides and understand because uh, you get to, it, what is it, uh, Stephen Covey, I think, seek to, be a, to, seek to understand, then be understood? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. And I do think understanding all aspects is excellent. You know, it's um, it gives one a, a little bit of an edge, let's just say. Give us the basics of what your book on kindness is about. Sure. Well, The Prophet of Kindness is about how to be more kind with, I call them, you know, most people are concerned about ROI. Mm -hmm. Of course, return on investment is important. We call it ROK, return on kindness. And we have several rocks to uh, new kinds to actually have more kindness. Words like compassion, generosity, connection. Uh, those are all key elements and part of what I call my sevenfold pathway to kindness. So we outline a pathway to kindness. And interestingly enough, what I discovered in the research for the book is that, you know, surprise, surprise, kind people are happier. They uh, make more money. They create more and better relationships. There are people that people really want to be around because kindness is a universal value. Mm -hmm. Regardless of anything else you believe and anything else that's going on in the world, 
kindness always works and always prevails. And that includes in companies. Com you know, interestingly enough, this, this I thought was fascinating with companies is we ended up um, finding amazing companies, many of you whom you've heard of, like McDonald's, who ran a pay it with lovin' campaign where hugs actually were the new money. I think we should do that all the time, personally. But, uh, <laughs> you know, Kleenex, who was giving away Kleenex to people to share with their friends and family, just giving it away, you know. So I found a lot of companies, many, most of you have heard of, the Hyatt Hotels, who were um, authorizing their staff to pick up bar tabs and spa treatments. I wish I'd been at a Hyatt Hotel at that moment. <laughs> cool during that campaign, but that's what I'm talking about is that companies have now realized the importance of uh, kindness and are actually promoting it. So where does that, I mean, this is sort of a side thought that came to my head because I'm a little bit challenged because I do a lot of stuff on the internet and it's really easy for a person to hide behind the keyboard and be a jerk. So what are your thoughts on using social media and being kind? Because it, it, it's really hard to like, be kind on the internet. Not not that it, you, you don't have to be a jerk, but how can you really express that? Other than video like this, I try and be myself, and then this is who I am, so I try and be as kind as I can. But when you're writing stuff, I mean, you, you can only take so many of those little hearts and all that kind of stuff, <laughs> and how authentic is it, you know? Well, one of the things I think is really important, you know, it's the old thing about in life, if you don't have something nice to say, just don't say it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not to say you can't express your opinion, because I think expressing opinions is important, and that that we can have differing opinions, and respect is the new kindness. You have to respect other people's opinions. But mm -hmm. shooting off and bad-mouthing others on the Internet, that's not, you know, that's not the way to go. And it's really, in a way, a cowardly way, because it's easy to just, as you say, hide behind a keyboard and say mean things but how about uh just you know either just keeping your keyboard shut so yeah, keep your keyboard shut <laughs> <laughs> keep your keyboard shut <laughs> or you know say some good things and spread some positive vibes and again that's not to say you have to agree with everything i mean i've been you know faxing social media uh you know making calls uh, around some political things myself lately and that's all good uh, there's nothing wrong with that let's but but keep it, uh, it doesn't have to be mudslinging. Right. We've seen that's done. And frankly, now we've ended up in a time where people seem to have cart right and cart blanche to just sling mud and to discriminate. Well, that's, and that's kind of what I was getting at with the internet. It's so easy to do that and to hide because, you know, you probably don't really know that person from Miami, Florida or whatever because he's just a Facebook friend. So you can kind of do whatever you want. But other people see that kind of stuff. So if you're not being kind, uh, like... I've always said the you know there's that that factor about uh, the no like and trust factor. I've always added respect to the end of that because once somebody knows who you are, and that's the reason for this interview, so people get to see who you are, and hopefully they'll like you, and then they can trust you, and then they have respect for you, and then they buy the book because they believe in what you know you got a got a commonality. So I think that's important. You brought up that respect part. Absolutely. Thank you for that. So before I get into answer, asking my favorite question, why don't you share how we can get a hold of you with the book? If you've got an easy to remember domain name, other than that, I put the links, of course, in the in the video and all that. But uh, share with how do we get a hold of you to learn more about your services and your book? Oh, thank you. So check it out. That's the book cover again. It's uh, notice the heart, by the way. I I really asked the publisher, please put a heart on it. <laughs> please okay. put a heart. I love that. So go yes. to profitofkindness.com. And uh, you can buy the book. And then if you want me, and, and I would love to help you with any support you might need, go to support at, and that's my name, support at jilllublin.com. And then, Brad, if you would just write that in the links, because sometimes the lots of L's, but support at jilllublin.com. <laughs> and let me know how I can help you. Okay. Well, the way you can help me is by sharing the love and uh, spreading this out once I get it up there and propagated. That's uh, how this whole internet thing works, you know. But... Here's my favorite question, and this is my big why question. Why did you get into the career path that you got into? Why aren't you like a kindergarten teacher or a ski instructor, or why aren't you like a, I don't know, archaeologist or something? Why are you doing what you're doing? Well, archaeologist, because I could never remember all those scientific terms. But, um, 
I actually started in the music business as uh, director of promotion and publicity. And I've always been in entertainment. I worked with creative people. In fact, magicians too, um, and, and musicians and all kinds of artists. And I've always loved working with creative people. So I worked in the music business and started my career as director of promotion and publicity at multiple independent record labels. So that was a lot of fun. And I really learned my publicity skills there um, and then opened up my own PR agency, ended up working still with a lot of musicians and artists and started expanding that to business people and then got, as I like to say, tapped on the shoulder to write a book called Guerrilla Publicity. And that was with Jay Conrad Levinson, who is amazing, who started the whole guerrilla marketing mm -hmm. series. And that actually really started my career as a speaker and a consultant and helping people get book deals. So that's just um, levied at a whole nother, a whole nother level. And from there, I've just been I'm doing a lot of speaking and a lot of consulting, teaching my publicity crash course and all kinds of fun like that. And it's really seems to cut, you know how sometimes we plan our path and sometimes we find our path. Sure. And I, think we, I really found my path that's natural for me, which is promotion, publicity, helping people with publishing. That's a natural pathway for me. Well, it definitely shows. I can see you're a kind person just by your smile, and that's what it takes to make those relationships. I've never seen anybody do good in business when they come in all grumpy and angry and stuff. So. It doesn't <laughs> help. And thank you for the acknowledgement, and you too, and thank you, of course, for your great show. Okay, well, I'm going to sign this one off and beam it up to the Internet. So thanks again, Jill. If you want to stick around, I can chat a little bit longer with you, but I'm going to put this one in the can, as they say. So. All right. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Peace.